In this screencast, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use um, one of the course style kits from e-learningtemplates.com. And to, to go ahead and get started, I'm, in, I'm using PowerPoint 2007 here. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up a new file and I'm going to use one of the new templates that I've already saved into uh, my PowerPoint templates folder. And I'm going to use the paper theme today. So I'm just going to load that template up. And this is really what you do if you're going to start a brand new course starting from scratch, doing a new course, and um, you want to use this paper theme style. Um, you know, we, we've included just a couple slides in here just, just to show you how to, um, some of the layouts, but really there's lots and lots of layouts that we've included in here. And now I'm going to show you just how to add a new slide and choose from the different layouts that we've already customized for you. Uh, if you're in their home tab within this PowerPoint, go to new slide and this little drop down arrow, and you click that, and there's packed full with lots of different layouts and backgrounds that we've already pre-populated for you. Not to say you can't go in and do your own customizations. These are fully customizable within PowerPoint. These are just ones that we uh, found useful that we thought you would also. Uh, so let's say you know you want this this cool, I don't know, let's say the collage right here. So you're gonna click that, boom, new slide. Already has the spots for the text, the titles. If you wanna put a picture in here, um, add some more text here. If you know how to use PowerPoint, you're going to love this. It's very easy to use. Um, also included in the file is a PowerPoint 2003 version and older, uh, but this is the 2007 version, which uh, well worth the upgrade if you haven't done so already. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and add one more new slide just to show you once again how to do it. Click the new slide drop down, click one of the layouts, and it adds that right in there then you can go in and add your content for your course. Hope this helps and happy e-learning.